Hi guys, Dave Ashcroft here, Ashcroft Transmissions. So I wanted to take a minute today uh, to make a video to talk a little bit about the R380, uh, the Synchro, Synchro rings, how they work and what modifications we do to make them shift better. First thing to go through is on the R380, there are basically two types of Synchro used. You have the single Synchro, which is used on reverse, fifth and the pinion which as the name suggests, is just a plain bulk ring, which goes onto a steel cone, which grips like that. You have a dual line bulk ring that's used on first, second and third, which consists of an inner ring, which drops on there, a steel, these three teeth drop in those cutouts, and then the outer, those three cutouts, drop on those three feet so you effectively get double the surface area and what we're talking about when we talk about a synchro grinding or a shift a lot of it comes down to how much the bulk ring will grip on that steel cone as it shifts and the synchro outer comes over the bulk ring to engage on these teeth there's two things that govern that how much your bulk ring grips if you like one is how hard you're pushing it. The other is the friction coefficients. Let's look at the first one, how hard you're pushing it. That's effectively governed by two things. In these three slots, you have these three feet, or slippers as they're sometimes called. They do the pushing on the bulk ring. There's two things that govern how hard they push. You've got physical detail in this ramp angle here that the slipper rides up and down as you move the outer. The other factor is the wire spring. That's the amount of force that's holding it out that you're pushing against when you engage it, when it goes over the teeth. We can't do much about that ramp angle. That's not an easy fix. And don't forget, every time you make a change pretty much to anything in a gearbox or whatever, there's pros and cons. So if you made this ramp angle too steep, it would be detrimental to the quality of the shift. The thing that we can do is take the standard wire spring, which is 1.8 millimeter diameter, and replace it with a slightly stiffer two mil diameter spring. So that when the outer slides over, you're effectively applying a bit more force on these three slippers to push the bulk ring tighter. So the other variable that we have that we mentioned previously is on the friction of the bulk ring, i.e. for the same given force, how much it can bite the synchro cone, that affects the quality of the shift. We fit brand new bulk rings in every R380 that we build. They're obviously brand new in all our rebuild kits, but the R380 can still suffer from the shifts not being great in cold conditions, if they're hurried, um, depending what oil is used, you know, th there's a few variables. Most of the bulk rings used on the R380s are just um, plain material, grooved to let the oil out. But there's various other types of coatings that you can have. One is a sprayed on molybdenum coating. You can get a sinted bulk ring and you can get carbon fiber bulk rings. Now the very early R380s like this, that's one there which is um, different in the way that it's got uh, full engagement teeth around the outside. Uh, these ones don't, they're partial, um, as is that type on the dual synchro. But the other interesting thing is, the very early ones were molybdenum coated. So we have made bulk rings, the two outer ones, not the inner, but on the two outers, both the single type without the cutouts, we've made it with the molybdenum coating. We've done exactly the same thing with the dual type synchro. Made it with the molybdenum coating. Why would you want that? Good question. Uh, two things really. It gives you far better friction coefficients, so it grips better for the same given amount of force. And just as importantly, it's much more durable. It lasts longer. We have made these bulk rings. We're now gonna put them on the website as being available as an option. Um, if you specify any of the R380s that we sell, they're also gonna be an option on the rebuild kits. We'll still supply the non-coated 
and uh, we sell lots of those and we'll probably continue to sell them. But we're just offering this as an option because we feel it's a step forward in the synchro development and it makes sense to do that. So they'll be offered on our website at a small additional charge, but we think it's something that might be worth considering on vehicles that are working hard or you're interested in um, high durability of the transmission. Thanks very much guys, hope you found that interesting.